Welcome back friends. Today we're just going to work on something simple and really try to master some techniques that will deliver a delightful meal, something that you can cook during the middle of the week. Let's get into it. So the menu tonight, we're gonna to do chicken and roast potatoes with a little salad. Uh, and we're gonna have a little sauce for, for it all to go with. So to get started, I'm gonna just season this chicken. I'm gonna do it with just salt and pepper. You know, you can have fun here if, if you want to. Any spices are welcome. This is about simplicity. I'm gonna do salt and pepper. Turn these guys over. Do the back side now. Okay, cool. So we're gonna let these hang out for at least an hour. If you don't have that time uh, during a weeknight, you can do it before you leave for work in the morning or the night before. It just needs to be somewhere between 45 minutes and 24 hours that they can kind of hang out, so. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge, let them hang out for 45 minutes, and we'll continue working. Okay, so onto the potatoes. We're gonna parboil these potatoes before we, um, before we bake them. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. Using Yukon Gold potatoes here. They're just kind of one of my favorite potatoes, but as usual, whatever's in your pantry, feel free to use it. Let's get some salt in the water. Load these guys up. And so we're just gonna par cook these. Should take 10, 15 minutes, uh, and then we'll drain them off and, and finish working on them. Okay, so while our potatoes cook, we're gonna get into just a couple other little things we're gonna prep. We're gonna finely dice a half a, an onion. We're gonna mince up two cloves of garlic. Okay, so this is pretty much all the vegetable prep that we're gonna do for this recipe. I'm gonna just set this to the side until we need it. Okay, so our potatoes are about where they need to be. They just slightly fall off. So you can go strain these over in, in the sink, but I'm just gonna use this spider because I'm right here. Turn this off. And so now I'm just gonna hit this with just a little bit of olive oil. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna do these until they kind of develop a little crust on the outside of them. And kind of see how they, they look kind of beaten up and they kind of have like this starchy coating on the outside of it. This is gonna really help to make these a crunchy potato. And that's kind of what I'm going for with this recipe. So these are just gonna hang out uh, until we get our chicken ready. Okay, so time to work on this chicken. Uh, I've got the oven, it's preheated to, to 400 degrees and I've got a large cast iron skillet here that I've also been preheating. Oh shoot. Let's go in with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, it's a little too hot, but we're gonna go in skin side down. Turn my eye off. Now I'm gonna take my potatoes and we're just gonna drop them in here. So what's gonna be beautiful about this is that as these 
pieces of chicken release their fat, these potatoes get to hang out in them and it will really help their flavor out. That starchy thing that we did to the outside of them will really help them to crisp up. So this is gonna go in the oven. It's gonna take probably 45 minutes to an hour to finish cooking. I'm probably gonna come through halfway and see if I need to rotate and just kind of check on it. So we'll see in a little bit. Okay, so we're about 30 minutes into our cook. I'm gonna check it, check the temperature and just kind of see where we're at now. Oh boy, a little over. It's okay, they're dark meat and so they'll, they'll, they'll be just fine. This all smells so good. See, he's got some beautiful color on them. Okay, so now we're gonna start working on our sauce. I'm gonna go in with our half of an onion. Get my heat going again. And so we're just gonna use this, all this rendered fat and jus from the chicken to cook these onions. I'm also gonna use these onions to lift up any excess stuff that's on the pan. On the little good brown bits. I'm gonna go in with my onion, or my, I'm going in with my garlic. Okay, so I've got about a, a little less than a tablespoon of flour. I'm just gonna cook this flour just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with just the amount of stock that I have on hand, I'm probably gonna do about a cup. I'm gonna go in with some heavy cream, just probably two or three tablespoons worth. Season to taste with some salt and pepper. I'm just looking for this to thicken up just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna get set back up over there and we'll finish this dish off. Okay, let's strain this sauce. Okay. All right, cool. So that's pretty much all there is to cook this recipe. So let's get it all plated up and give it a try. Get this chicken. You know, a little spinach that we just need to, to use up. You can use whatever green here. Like I'm a big arugula fan. Give a little side of onions. We'll hit the chicken with some of this sauce. A little salad, I'm gonna do a little, just a little olive oil. Some salt and pepper. Well, this knife needs to be sharpened. I'm gonna hit my salad with a little bit of lemon juice. Put that on the side for your chicken. And voila, super simple. It's gonna taste absolutely delicious. So I am so excited about this. I'm gonna break into this chicken leg. Get a bite of it. Holy cow. Wow. So good. Jeez, let's get one of these potatoes. Mm. Such a good flavor to them. Body, this simple salad. 
You know what you're getting there. Works so well. Man. You know, the potato. Jeez. Man. A super simple meal that is just all about using proper cooking technique. This is dynamite. Hope you find time to, to make it, share it with a friend. I'm gonna share with uh, what type of chicken recipes that you like. But I wanna thank you for stopping by today. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Cool. Clean up my onion mess.